Tram, have you ever had a Nigerian prince call and ask you for money? Uh, no. I wish they would call and say we want to give you money. Exactly. But don't get conned by all of this. While some scams may seem so obvious, others are getting more sophisticated. Yeah, the Prince thing, not sure about that. <laughs> Dean Tolls Nicole Zymick has two of the savviest scams to be aware of so you can save your hard-earned cash. You've heard of skimming. That's when thieves install card-reading gadgets on ATMs and gas pumps. But have you heard of shimming? Skimmers became less effective ever since credit card companies switched to chip cards. So effective that Visa says they've seen a 76% decrease in fraud since the cards were introduced three years ago. But it appears scammers have finally found a way to work around that. And it's called shimming. Shimmers are the new thing to be installed on ATMs and gas pumps. They capture data off your chip. And worse, shimmers are paper thin and fit into the card reader slot, which can't be seen with your naked eye. You can't detect these until after the fact when there's already suspicious activity on your card. For that reason, it's safest to pay inside and pay attention to where you swipe your card. ATMs installed at a bank tend to be a lot safer than the kind you might find at a convenience store, which can be so much more easily tampered with. One other scam that's targeting consumers' bank accounts? The FBI is warning about a tech support scam that's already cost Arizonans $1.3 million this year. It has many variations. Your computer might freeze up and give you a pop-up telling you you have to call tech support. But instead, you get a fraudster who gets remote control access to your computer. In another version, the con artists actually pay search engines to have their fake companies show up high in your search results. So always do your homework before choosing a company. Nicole Zymek, 12 News.